everybody, welcome back. I've got a journal I thought I would uh, do a quick flip through on. This is a custom order that I've just recently completed and I thought I would, uh, you know, do a, a little flip through just so I can remember for myself. Um, I've been kind of busy doing other projects lately so I haven't done a lot of journals. Um, just working them in, you know, here and there, and uh, like I said, I've been trying to, to play around with some new um, skills and different hobbies, so it's been kind of fun because I, I really lost my mojo with everything that's been going on, as I know so many of you are struggling with as well. So this is a one signature journal, and it's a big one, um, super, super chunky. I've just um, done a lot of laces. She loves pink. And um, she's a girly girl, so I wanted to make sure that this was going to be something that had, you know, the things that she was drawn to. So, down the front here, I've got a tag that will flip over so she can do some additional writing. And then I've got a big accordion pocket here that she can add other items in. I've left it blank because the the journal is just getting huge, um, but she did say she likes chunky journals, so I'm, I'm hoping she's going to like this one. So what I've got here is a little pocket, and um, I've done a tutorial on how to make these. It's just additional writing space there, and very shabby chic. She likes purples and pinks, and I've just tucked that in, so that can be moved anywhere throughout the journal with a little charm. and. Um, bulb pin there, and then this flips over, and I've got another little tag here with a pocket, and then this area I've left because I thought she could add a photo, or several photos, or she could just journal in there. Now she did say she did not want much writing space, it was more, she wanted more um, interesting things to um, within the journal, so I have not left a lot of writing space in this one. I think you guys know I generally leave quite a lot, but I haven't in this one. So here I've just got a little tag journal card that I've backed with some tea dyed paper. And then I've got a pocket here with a, I love how this tags, oh, I love how this tag has come out. Oh, I must glue that down. And then I've got a little coin envelope there. She can tuck some memorabilia inside. A pocket here with some love this velvet trim. Another little handmade tag and a um, sorry, a journal card and then this little tag here. And then up here I've got another tag tucked in this pocket. So i this here to remember. <clears throat> so here I've got a um, just a large pocket here and this tag I've done some stenciling with some modeling paste and I've got a little snippet there with vintage um, cloth and vintage lace and vintage, vintage buttons as well. So that's been tucked in and this is uh, vellum uh, from my uh, chap sorry chapter one. Um, her inspiration kit this was included and I thought that was really pretty to put over that pocket. Uh, papers in here are mostly um, Nostalgia Graphic and My Porch Prints, and this is a piece of vellum. So I've got a tuck spot, as you can see, and then I made her this little tiny, um, just a kind of rustic little notepad, and then I've added some things here bits of paper, or uh, scraps of fabrics, and um, vintage trims and button. I got a ruffle here, and then I wanted to use the rest of this vellum, so I've made a little journal card out of that. 
and some buttons, and then this other little tag here that's got a pocket, some lace on it, that's just all tucked in there. And then here I've made a large journaling card in one of the one window envelope flips that um, and then just various things. I won't pull everything out because it would take ages to do. I just wanted to have a quick reminder. A uh, little um, journal card here that's been embossed and I've done stenciling throughout the journal and then a lot of embossing and then there's snippets and just various things. This was on some handmade paper. I do love to make these. And then this is an um, altered um, paper clip. And this opens up for additional writing in case you did want to. Because as I said, I didn't leave a lot of writing space in this one. And then another little journal card there with some vintage trim or lace that I had. This is some vintage wallpaper, um, and this was in the inspiration kit from um, Chapter One. I think I purchased that probably close on a year ago. I don't know if she she sold out straight away, um, and I'm hoping that they will do some more because those were really fun to receive. Um, so I do hope that, that they'll do some more. And then here I've just added a little tag and another. Um, this is a, a little fabric tag that I made with a little charm. So she could add this anywhere throughout the journal. More um, little pocket with a tag and then another bit of writing here. Love these papers. And then here I've just done a, a book, two book big book page pockets that flip over. And then the center of the signature, I've just created this and it's got um, a pocket here. A tiny pocket here. Two in the center of the signature and then this one actually opens for additional writing space. This was a lot of fun to make, this journal, because uh, these are definitely my colors. You know I like the shabby chic. Sorry, I just got that tucked in behind. Love these papers. And then here, another little um, tuck spot, and then I've done a tutorial for this little postcard as well. And then this flips down and flips over so she can make a little note here. And this just some little trim. It's got uh, birds. I'll give you a close up. It's got a little bird on a wire. Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, and then this just something a little bit different. I thought this was kind of cool. Just a little window through, and then I thought she could do some secret writing there. And a little snippet above. Another fabric ruffle, another little journal card, and then another pocket here. She could add some things to. And then this comes out, and this is a little uh, like a mini file folder. So she could do some writing in there. And then this bag opens up, so there's additional space there to add things, although I have to say. I don't know how she's going to add any more to this journal. It's massive. Um, here I've made a tuck spot using, these are from My Porch Prints. Love those. They're, they're just so sweet. And then this was some of my pressed flowers from last summer. And then I just tucked that in there. Old paper here. Um, this is a little flip. It's got the pockets, pocket here, and then I've got two pockets on the front. And then this little uh, 
writing writing space there that's tucked into that snippet belly band. And then this flips over with a journal card inside. And then here we've got a tuck spot and another little tuck here. And then this opens up at, on the backs for additional writing space. And then I've included that journal card. So it's a very, very chunky journal. Um, where this went. Um, so yeah, I hope that she's going to like this and it will be meet her expectations. Uh, that keeps popping up. I'm going to have to glue that again. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> it's a huge journal. <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it. I like working with these fabrics and the colors are, are definitely... In, in keeping with what I enjoy doing. So anyways, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll be back soon. Bye.